privately contract with the hostel to take us for a great wall hike. We're doing um, you know I took a photo of it but I think it's gonna throw me off if I open Google Maps. Let's see. We're headed up to Jinshan Ling area. Stop my recording. Thank you. <coughs> Best Great Wall trip in Beijing. So if you die of heat exhaust exhaustion, they know who to call. Backpacking China. We drop you at start. When you get on the wall, go left to Simatai. No right. The 22nd tower has five loopholes and there is a staircase at one side. When you get through the tower, please get down from the staircase and turn right. I haven't read it, but I think we have a couple hours of uh, bus to get where we're going. So it was at least an hour to get to the airport. We're going a bit further. So I can read up on the Great Wall here. I got two guy books. <laughs> so. We're actually gonna pass, I think, maybe the central business district up ahead. Let's see. Uh, so, Modi, everyone, uh, so now everybody start our journey to the uh, Jinshan Ling Great Hall. Uh, and my English name is uh, Diane, Diana. I think it's an easy name to remember because uh, my Chinese name is difficult for you to remember. Uh, so the wall is located as a wall is the uh, the wall is the furthest great wall compared with the other uh, great wall tours in the uh, travel agency. It's about 140 kilometers northeast of Beijing. So usually it takes us about three hours drive uh, if there's not too much traffic. Uh, it means we will get there around 12 o'clock. Maybe it's too long time for you. It's a little bit boring for you. But it doesn't matter because later, after I give a speech, you can uh, go on sleeping if you felt sleepy. Enjoy the view out of the window because it's a long way and it's a, it's a really a, it's really a nice day. Yeah. And uh, talk with each other, uh, but not now. So I have the I have the first question for you. Uh, do you know how long the Great Wall is in China? The total length of the Great Wall. Three thousand. Uh, not so long. Not that long. <laughs> uh, six thousand. Yes. Six thousand and a three. The longest the wall is ten thousand kilometers long. Yeah. But uh, uh, the wall I mentioned is in Great Wall. Yeah. Six hundred years old wall is about uh, 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 six thousand and three hundred kilometers long. Uh, the west terminal, the wall, the west terminal of the wall is Jiayu Guang, uh, part of Gansu, uh, of Gansu Province. In the in the in the west, yeah. and uh, the east terminal of the wall is where we are going uh, in Hebei province. But the the, the part is uh, Shanghai Guan Pass. <coughs> so, uh, have you ever heard about the first emperor in our history, uh, Qin Dynasty Emperor Emperor Qin Shi Huang? You know him. He's famous all over the world because uh, terracotta warriors was built by Qin Dynasty Emperor protect uh, his own tombs. Why I mentioned the first emperor? Because actually our first uh, famous great wall was also built by him uh, to protect against the Huns before 2,200 years ago. Uh, before 2,200 years. Uh, actually before he conquered China, uh, the country was divided into seven parts. 
we have seven kingdoms. They always fighting with each other. Uh, the seven kingdoms also build their own wall, but the wall is just like 300 kilometers long, 400 kilometers long. After Emperor Qin Shi Huang uh, conquered the whole country, yeah, conquered the other six kingdoms. <coughs> he asked the several million uh, civilian workers and also a lot of criminals. Unfortunately, we can all see them in Beijing. Only a little bit of the oldest Great Wall uh, left in Gobi, that a very remote place because the wall itself is not very tough. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> so in Qin Dynasty, uh, if somebody commits crime, they will get a four year sentence to work on the wall. Uh, I think it's very tough work to work on the wall. Uh, so, I think, uh, so in my opinion, just a few people that commit crime in Qin Dynasty. Uh, so, do you think we can still make the uh, 6,000 kilometers long wall. Uh, if you if you uh, if you uh, have enough time, money, and energy, what I mean is, do you think we still have 6,000 kilometers long wall or not? <coughs> no. So why not? Do you know? <laughs> because most of the wall was badly damaged. Yeah. Most of the wall, uh, nothing left nowadays. So we only have uh, 700 kilometers long wall. Last time I saw several, several tourists. They come from another group. They uh, starting from the east terminal of the wall, Jiayu Guan Pass, yeah, to Wu Tianyu Great Wall. Uh, they have nine days to walk just for Great Wall. So they make all the wall they can visit. Because most of them uh, were badly damaged, so they make the actually the 200 or 300 kilometers long wall in nine days if uh, if every day if we have the we still have 6,000 kilometers long wall maybe they have to make it in uh, two months yeah because most of so make they make the 2,000 kilometers long wall in <coughs> in nine days uh, but you will find the most uh, tourists come to Beijing to see the Great Wall why I say that because we are going to another province to see the wall uh, because 90 percent of the remaining walls about the six kil uh, 600 kilometers built in the 
same time, Ming Dynasty, about 600 years old. That's also the uh, last dynasty for Chinese people to build the wall. So do you know why we build the Ming Great Wall? Like, do you know who are our enemies in 14th, uh, 15th? Manchu. You got it. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Uh, like Mongolia is our enemy uh, in the early years of Ming Dynasty. You know, Mongolia, most of the Mongolian people, uh, <coughs> actually at the first year of Ming Dynasty, in 1368, King Khan, Khan, yeah, King Khan, uh, the most famous Mongolia, not himself, his grandson, yeah, fight with us. At the first year of Ming Dynasty, uh, King, uh, King Khan's grandson already escaped Beijing and go back to Mongolia, but uh, he's always aggressive. <laughs> yeah, he always sent out the troops to attack Beijing in order to get the lost territory back. And we are afraid of Mongolia because uh, they are stronger and taller than us, and they live in grasslands. They are good at shooting arrows and riding horses. We are afraid of them in the in the past. <laughs> and uh, uh, even though they are strong. The economic is not so strong. Uh, they are not so developed because it's grasslands area, so they are always poor in, in ancient time. They always want to steal, rob something from the border area. Uh, so the emperor we also uh, sent a lot of troops to guard the wall all the time. If the Mongolians uh, invaded us in the daytime, uh, we will burn wolf's poop to relay military information in the daytime. Uh, if on the night we will light fires on beacon towers to give a warning message. Uh, do you know why we uh, burn wolf's poop uh, in ancient time, in, in, the, in the daytime, to relay military information? Why we burn it? <laughs> because we have many wolves in mountainous area in the past. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you cannot find the wolves when you hike on water tail. Uh, maybe you, sometimes you can find the lizards and the squirrels when you hike on the wolf. Probably. Uh, it sounds weird, but even nowadays, if you go to Inner Mongolia, uh, the, the north, the north of Beijing, yeah, <coughs> you find the villages there, they also burn the dried sheep poop as a kind of fuel nowadays. Yeah. <coughs> so when we, uh, we burn the wolf smoke for the, we burn the wolf smoke for the, because the smoke is very strong and it went straight and it could be seen from uh, three kilometers far away because we have one watchtower at every three kilometers, uh, one by one. Actually, it's much faster than riding horses. That's why we use it. Yeah. So after three hours, the signal will be relayed until it reaches the Forbidden City. Uh, finally, the anchor in the Forbidden City will know the information uh, because the wall is from west to east. So we, we know enemy come from east or west. We will send the troops uh, to that direction. Then the whole country will be ready for the war in ancient time. Yeah. Uh, so I think we get there around the 12 o'clock. All the people have three hours hike. Uh, Mr. Liu, our driver, uh, will drop us off at the west gate. All the people walk all the way, uh, like six kilometers on the wall, meet each other at the other point named the east gate. That's our destination. Actually, actually it's the best way uh, to make this part of the wall because you walk very long distance from the first one to the last watchtower and we don't need to take the same way to come back. <coughs> uh, and uh, uh, for all the people, the money you paid of the tour into the entrance fee, transportation, uh, we don't have lunch. Mr. Liu and I don't have lunch either. So if you want to order something to drink and eat when we get there or finish hike, there's a restaurant when you finish hike yeah, uh, near the East Gate, our destination. Uh, you need to buy it yourself. Remember to ask the price before you eat or drink something. Uh, it doesn't mean they charge you too much. They actually they charge the same price from all tourists, no matter you are Chinese or foreigners. Actually, uh, the villagers uh, at the bottom of Jinshani are much nicer than, <laughs> than the villagers uh, at the bottom of Wutian in Great Wall. Do you have any question to ask me? So we're, we're staying in uh province or we're going to another province? Yeah, here is Beijing, but uh, it's uh, 140 kilometers far away, but just uh, 130 kilometers belongs to Beijing. The last uh, 10 kilometers belongs to Hebei province. Okay, so yeah. we're going to Hubei province. Hebei, yeah, Hubei. the north of Yellow River. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, and I come from the south of Yellow River. Will, will we will cross the Yellow River on the bus? No, <laughs> we cannot see Yellow River. Oh, okay. Uh, it's not here. <laughs> so maybe later. Okay. Uh, so it's a long way. We also have a break later. All the people have time to relax and go to a restroom. Long drive. It's uh, it was just about nine o'clock when we left. I was gonna go on their ten-kilometer hike the other day, and um, it left at something ridiculous, like seven in the morning. And it was a, it was not a nice day out, so I said, "Ah, forget it. I don't want to do it." Today looks like a much clearer day. A little bit of cloud cover. <coughs> so, decided to go for it. Plus, today is a Monday. And it's a good day to do a great wall trip on a Monday because most of the museums and attractions close on a Monday. Tin Shan Ling is where we start. Then we end at Si Ma Tai. have a uh, Backpacking China is their website downtown hostel and they're based I guess out of the same building as the hostel downtown Beijing Backpackers Hostel on Nanlugu